for this recipe, you will need some chicken breast, some dry white wine, chicken stock, lemon, butter, capers, extra virgin olive oil, all-purpose flour, and some fresh parsley. And that's everything. This recipe is super easy. We can have everything done in 15 minutes. We only have to prep a few ingredients. I'm going to cut a couple rings off of one lemon and then we'll keep the other two wedges for the sauce. Take a nice little handful of parsley and cut it up fine. And now I'm going to butterfly and cut in half two chicken breasts. This recipe is good for two people, but you could double it if you'd like. After giving my hands a quick wash, I grabbed my plastic wrap and covered them up so when I pound them out, it won't make a mess. Now season the chicken with some sea salt or kosher salt and some cracked black pepper. Don't forget to get the other side as well. Pour about a half cup of all-purpose flour into a bowl, then dredge each piece into the flour and knock off any excess like that. Once the pieces are nicely coated, I can place this in the freezer for about three or four minutes to help them set while I clean up and set up the cooking station. Seriously, how easy was that prep work? I cut up a lemon, chopped some parsley, and prepared some chicken, and now we're ready to cook. Now in a pan on medium high heat, I added a pretty good bit of extra virgin olive oil because this is gonna be the beginning of our sauce and a big nub of butter. And then I will sear the chicken for about two to two and a half minutes aside until they're nice and golden. After we get a nice golden color on each side, we can remove the chicken onto a plate. There's some black pepper showing through the flour, which isn't really a big deal because we're going to be covering them with the sauce anyway. And now we can begin building our sauce. Turn your pan down to medium low and add in two tablespoons of capers. Swirl that around for about 20-30 seconds and then add in a half cup of some nice dry white wine. Now add in one cup of chicken stock. Squeeze in the two halves of lemon. As well as adding all that fresh parsley that we chopped. And let this simmer for one to two minutes. After two minutes, you can see the sauce is still pretty loose, but that's okay because when we add the chicken back in, the flour on the chicken will help thicken the sauce. So we will cook the chicken simmering for about two minutes aside, and we'll remove them one more time and add some butter into the sauce to finish. Now the consistency of the sauce is perfect. I'm going to remove the chicken, cut the heat on the pan, and then we will just finish with a nub of butter to bring the sauce together and make it nice and velvety and rich. Thank you guys so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you give this recipe a try. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments section. And if you haven't already, please like and consider subscribing. And I will see you guys on the next video.